All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Committee on Land Use. I am Councilmember Rafael Salamanca, the chair of this committee. I want to thank my esteemed colleagues who are members of the committee who are with us today. Today we have Council Members Gibson, Barron, Deutsch, Chair Kalos, Kuhl, Reynoso, Richards, Traeger, Grudenchik, Chair Moya, and Rivera. Today we will be voting on applications referred out of our three subcommittees. This morning we will vote to approve LUS 218, the designation by the Landmarks Preservation Commission of 550 Madison Avenue, a 30-story, 37-story postmodern style sky skyscraper that served as the former AT&T headquarters as an individual landmark. From our zoning subcommittees, we will vote to approve LUS 262, an application pursuant to section 20-226 of the administration, Administrative Code by 931 Manhattan Cafe LLC, DBA, Cistrone for a new revocable, con revocable consent to operate an unenclosed sidewalk cafe located at 931 Manhattan Avenue in Councilmember Levin's District in Brooklyn. The applicant has agreed to reduce the size of the proposed unenclosed cafe to three tables and six chairs to accommodate the narrow sidewalk and existing sidewalk obstructions. We will vote to approve LU 260, an application pursuant to section 20-226 of the Administrative Code from By the Glass Inc. DBA UVA for a renewal of a revocable consent to operate an unenclosed sidewalk cafe located at 1486 2nd Avenue and LU 261, an application pursuant to, se to section 20-225 of the Administrative Code from Three Deckers Restaurant LTD for the renewable of a revo revocable consent to operate an enclosed sidewalk cafe located at 1746 2nd Avenue. Both are in Councilmember Kalos' district in Manhattan. We will vote to approve LUS 263, an application pursuant to section 20-225 of the Administrative Code from 27 East Restaurant Holdings LLC Flemings, DBA, Bill Bouquet, for a revocable consent to operate and use an unenclosed sidewalk cafe located at 27 East 62nd Street in Councilmember Powell's District in Manhattan. From our planning subcommittees, we will vote to approve LUS 232, Park and Elton in my district in the Bronx. Approval of this application for an amendment to a previously approved urban development action area project and a private housing finance law tax exemption for property located at 3120 Park Avenue and 451 East 159th Street will facilitate the development of a 37 housing unit affordable to house holds with income ranging from 27% AMI to 90% AMI, including a six homeless set aside unit, which is 15%. We will also vote to approve LUS 240 MEC 125th Street in application by HPD for a new private housing finance law tax exemption for property known as Parcel B West in Councilmember Ayala's district in Manhattan. The approval will facilitate the development of 404 residential units, including 268 affordable and 134 market rate, more than 62,000 square feet of commercial space, 5,800 square feet for a cultural slash community facility, 10,000 square feet of public open space, and 121 parking spaces. Are there any questions or remarks from members of the committee? Uh, I just want to point out, again, on my project, um, I know that many of my colleagues have know that I've introduced a bill uh, that will require that any developer that's getting any city subsidies uh, from the city, that there be a 15% homeless set aside. And to be quite frank, there's been resistance from the administration because they feel that it cannot be done. And this will be my fourth project in a row, regardless of how small it is. We're talking about a building with 37 units. I was able to get a 15% homeless set aside which is six units, and we were able to go as low as 20%, 27% of the AMI and up to 90% of the AMI. So um, the administration is saying it cannot be done, and I am proving them otherwise that it can be done, and we just have to have the political will to do it. And I'm just demonstrating that I can do it and I am going to do it. So with that, any comments from members of the committee? No, nope. seeing none, I will now call a vote in accordance with recommendations of the subcommittees and the local council members to approve LUS 218, 232, 240, 260, 261, 262, and 263. Will the clerk please call the roll? Lee Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on land use. Chair Salamanca. Aye on all. Richards. Aye on all. Gibson. Aye Barron. Aye. Permission to explain my vote? Council member Barron to explain her vote. 
Thank you. I want to commend you for the efforts and the actions that you're taking in regards to making sure that we address the issue of homelessness in New York City. And I vote aye on all with the exception of land use 240, on which I am abstaining. I don't think there's enough in that project. It's 50% that is affordable in my estimation. Thank you. Deutsch, aye no. Kalos, aye no. Ku. Aye. Reynoso. Avrano. Traeger. Just want to commend the chair for leading by example and through actions and not through speeches and through presentations. I commend you, Chairman, and I vote aye on all. Gordinchik. Uh, with best wishes for a happy holiday, I vote aye on all. Moya. Rivera. A vote of 12 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, no abstentions. All items are adopted with the exception of land use item 240, which is adopted by the committee 11 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and one abstention. I would like to thank members of the public, my colleagues, council, and land use staff for attending today's hearing. Uh, I will leave, uh, I will leave this, uh, the roll open for 15 minutes. Thank you.